Hey everybody, Robert here again in this exercise. We're going to look at room finish schedules. So we're going to create a room finish schedule for our, our house project. So this is our first level. And this is our second level. So really, basically what we need to do first is we need to add rooms. So I'm going to go into my architecture tab. I'm going to select room. And then I'll just go and place this tag okay, right here. Well, let's place the first one here. Okay, let's do this one first. This will be a room. And then once I place this room, I want to go here and I want to just rename this to bedroom one. say okay and then I'm gonna call this number 101 just for the well I'll call this room number 100 okay then I'll go here and we'll go to the next one so we'll just place all these rooms here so this will be bathroom um, let's say bath one Okay, and then we'll go and do one here. This will be our bedroom too. This is pretty straightforward. I know we've done this before, but I want to do this with this house. Now here, we need a room separator because of this opening here. So I'm going to just go a room separator from here to here for our laundry. Now here, I'll place my room name again. And I'll rename this to laundry. We'll say okay. So and then now we have this open, this big open space. I guess it's going to be a work area or something right here. So I'm going to just draw another room separated here. Let's see if we can do a room here now. And I'm going to call this, I guess this will be my vestibule, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, right there. We'll call this vestibule. Hope I spelled that right, folks. So that's that room. Uh-oh. So we went into the family, but I don't want to be there. I'm going to go back into the... Uh... There we go. So that's four. And then here, let's see what we'll do here for this area. See what we can get out of here. Boom. So what we'll do here, we'll get these two areas right here. So we'll just do a separator right through here. Right there should do it. Okay, I'll just call this uh Dead entry, I guess. Okay, and then here we'll go. This will be another vestibule, I guess. So what I'm doing here, I'm creating all these. Okay, this is right. This will be a... Let's just call this... I just saw it too. And now here is going to be our garage. So we need a silk preparator here. So we'll go from here to here. So what we're going to do here, we're going to use these finished this schedule that we're going to create. Uh, I'm going to go here and I'm going to do room separate here. And this is our garage. We'll rename this to garage. Okay, there. Okay, so now let's go do our second level right here. 
So I'm going to do my room here. And this is going to be, you know, rename this to my master bedroom. Okay. This is going to be my ensuite. There. I think that's what you call it. Okay, and then here we're going to have a master bed, bedroom, master bath here. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to do two things at once, master bedroom, master bath. This there. And then we'll go to this other bathroom here. Let's just call this uh, bathroom two. Bath two. Okay. And here now we're going to. Okay. Let's do this one right here. Okay. We'll separate this one here. Okay, I want to fix something here. I see a little problem right there. It's got to be aligned. Sorry. So this is going to be different. Okay, okay. Now let's do our separator here. From here to here. And now we're going to have to do another one right here because of our kitchen. Uh, so we'll do another one here. So we should have the whole. So let's go and let's do add rooms here. We'll call this uh, hallway, I guess. Just call it hall. <laughs> okay, and then here we got our kitchen here. at the kitchen okay and here will be our I'm gonna just call this living room the kitchen is just gonna be combined I guess and we gotta do a room here and we'll rename that Okay, so now we got all our room names and everything done. So what we want to do at this point is we want to create our room, our room finish schedule. So basically what happens is you want to go to view here. You want to go create schedule. Schedules and quantities are now here. We want to scroll all, we want to go to architecture. Let's just filter some of this stuff out because we're looking for architecture stuff. So we're going to go to here. Okay, so we want to go all the way down to where it says rooms. Right there. And then here, we can name it the, the category. We can leave it at room schedule and then we'll just say okay here. Now for this schedule, I think we want to add our room number. So we'll go these fields. So we'll have room number here. And then I think uh, name. Okay, Mr. Room name. Push that over. And then we'll go base finish. We do have baseboards here. And then we want to take uh, Floor finish. We got ceiling finish, of course. That's my floor finish, wall finish. Okay, and uh, I think we want to take a volume as well for doing the MEP stuff. And we got level as well. 
Um, I think we got everything. Base finish, ceiling finish, wall finish. Uh, I think floor finish. Yep. And then we just say OK here. OK, so there's our schedule. We didn't add areas, but we probably should. So to do that, uh, you can you can go here and basically edit these fields here. And I say I want the volume is not completed. Okay, that's because I didn't do the vibe, the room volume. So, but anyway, guys, I just want to show you how to make a quick room schedule. These are gonna be our finishes, so we'll fill those in in the next exercise. So everybody, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and everybody, please be safe. Thanks again, and bye. See you in the next video.